Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to some Grounded. Um, I have been hard at work uh, for the last little while here, uh, trying to gather a bunch of materials so that when I actually started the episode, and right now is actually a little earlier than I had originally intended, um, my goodness, there are a lot of ants right here, um, that we would be able to have everything that we could possibly need to keep kind of building, uh, work on, um, possibly a new building, um, but, you know, kind of, I want to keep experimenting with coziness, um, and there's a lot of recipes, um, I'll let that ant get away, um, but, you know, as you see, there is, in and amongst all of the carnage that we just, uh, wrought, there's a backpack here, um, I, I did, I did, in fact, perish, um, while out and about, but I was I was over here to primarily gather um, some splinters. Um, I didn't really gather much because I got distracted. Um, imagine that. Um, so while I'm talking here, I'll go ahead and grab some of these right here, because I do still need some. Um, but my, uh, my milk molar alert, uh, radar thing went off as I was just kind of climbing around on here looking for splinters. Um, and way up there was, um, ultimately the last, uh, mega milk molar that we need, um, or needed, because I did collect it, uh, to actually upgrade our consumable stack size, um, I think possibly the last time. Uh, that part I haven't actually done yet, so we'll be able to go do that here soon. Um, but there was also a moth up there that I did kind of want to fight because we do need more moth parts, um, just in general, uh, whether we want to make the moth armor or uh, kind of anything else that uses moth parts. Uh, we, we need more of them. Uh, we don't have much of any of them at all right now. So, um, I did want to go ahead and take on the moth, but, uh, as you'll kind of see in the little clip here, I, oh, 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 uh, I had, like, no healing supplies on me at the time, and was already not at the highest of health, so, um, you know, I went ahead and decided to go for it regardless, um, because sometimes we just got to be bold. Anyway, it did go better than I expected. We got the moth to about half health, um, but without any way to um, actually heal, uh, there was just no great way to win that fight. Um, and so the, the moth the moth was victorious. Um, but um, yeah, we are, we are back here was able to at least grab the backpack already, as you saw, and, um, I still do, now that we've discovered that that is another moth location, um, I think I do still want to go take it on, um, and get a few moth parts, since, theoretically, this should be a, uh, reasonable spot to get up to, um, except, you know, I already fell off once as I was running you through all this, and... Now I'm struggling to get back up there, so, um, yeah, we will, we'll give it a shot, go for round two against this moth, and, uh, see how it goes. This, uh, this moth just kind of chills, uh, right up here, and I feel like kind of using this as a little safe spot, um, it does, like, spit dust and things at us, um, but using this as a little safe spot so we don't fall off, worked relatively well. Um, I do need to change up my mutations a little bit. Um, thing is, I like my loadouts that I kind of have set up. I basically have this one set up for my barbarian loadout. This one's set up for my, um, kind of poison resistant sword loadout. Um, and then this is my general kind of harvesting loadout. Uh, the mutation loadout thing has actually been really nice, so I, I have enjoyed using that. So maybe I'll just adjust uh, this that I kind of only had set up for harvesting charcoal. 
Well, maybe it exists and I just don't have it yet, but I really thought there was like a dust resist. Maybe fresh defense will help out with it. I am not sure, but it's worth at least giving a shot. Otherwise, since I think I'm going to use my sword uh, for this, I know that they are resistant to slashing, but my uh, my spicy Coltana at least has the spicy on it. Um, so we're going to use Blade Master to make our sword a little bit better. Coup de Grass to help our crit chances. Uh, the Fresh Defense, just in case the little Moth Dust counts as Gas Resist, but even though I think that that's wrong. Um, yoked Blows to try to get... Um, uh, better crit hit chances, and then this dissection expert uh, uh, mutation that I think we just got in a recent episode uh, to get looting luck um, so that we can hopefully get better um, better stuff after we take this moth out. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's try this again. Um, I really, I need my... Um, my whichever badge it is kind of one of those ominent badges that does dust resistance that i always bring into the uh termite mound um i am not carrying any of my my uh, trinkets on me right now uh just because i um I've been trying to maximize inventory space so that I can just absolutely harvest everything um, on these little outings that I've been going on. Let's see, and I do actually have smoothies this time. I really need to update my hotbar a bit, but this should be okay. This is already going a lot better as I get smashed with more moth dust. Here we go. I can see again. Oh, it's stunned. All right, that didn't last long. Let's take another smoothie. Oh, I think that that last hit would have done it. We're going to smoothie just to be safe. I think we're all right, but... And there we go. Um, Alright, we only got the Moth Fuzz. That's a bit disappointing, especially considering that we do have that um, Harvest mutation on that we didn't get any of the Moth Scales. But we'll take what we can get. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get back to harvesting some materials for a little while. So I'm going to try to get Pine Cones and Splinters while we're back here. Um, and... Uh, once we do that, um, unless uh, something crazy happens, I will um, maybe be seeing you guys back around the base and we can check out some other exciting stuff. All right, well, my uh, milk molar thing just pinged again. Uh, I'm guessing maybe this part of the log also has maybe something up here. Um, I mean, this definitely looks like good spots, like in in that kind of a place to hide a milk molar. We're getting closer. We're like right on it. There it is. That is a great little hiding spot. Cause that like, even when we were up on the stump, you can't really see that. All right, well, not too shabby. All right, well, I did end up basically coming right back home after that, uh, it's just getting dark. And so it's gonna be much better for us to go ahead and sleep through till morning and continue doing any further explana ex explanation? exploration then. Um, I did not end up getting any uh, any pine cones on that trip, but we at least got a little bit of uh, a little bit of splinters, which is good. Um, but now that we are back at the base, um, I do want to kind of show you a couple things that I learned 
um, I haven't really made any changes around here. I didn't want to really do too much, almost in the fear that I would up the coziness level, and I wanted to uh, make sure that you all were with me uh, when we cross that coziness 2 to coziness 3 threshold. Um, the only change I really made in here was um, I've got our antlion armor on our armor dummy, and I did go ahead and put it in a, in a nice pose rather than just having it uh, all boring. Um, but that way, when it's time for us to go get uh, our our charcoal, we can just boop, swap that out, and uh, you know that's it's nice and convenient for us. So if, if we're gonna have a dummy in the room, uh, we may as well put it to good use, um, which is what it's there for. Uh, so that was that was one uh, one good change. Um, uh, let's see, let's see. Um, otherwise, I did go around the base and, uh, do some repairs. Um, I finally grabbed the, uh, good old repair tool and did that. Um, otherwise, I think mostly what I wanted to kind of show was even just some things I learned, uh, scrolling through, <laughs> just scrolling through some menus. Um, so first, for whatever reason, I, I think that I thought that we didn't get any wasp armor uh or that we like only got a helmet or something um after researching wasp parts um regardless we we have wasp armor researched um so wasp helmet you go right here um charged shot combo i'm not entirely sure what that means I get now what a charged shot is. I was, you know, confused on that for a while, but like you literally can kind of wind up uh, an attack and I believe that's like what a charged shot is, but I don't know then what a combo would be unless like you're like winding up your first shot and then doing that into a combo and this like buffs that. Um, that's going to be something that I need to look into a bit. But anyway, not only do we have that, but we've got the wasp breastplate and we've got the wasp greaves. So we do have a full set of wasp, uh, of wasp armor available. Um, and then now I'm also curious, uh, I, this was not something I looked up ahead of time. Uh, so the moth armor, we just need moth fuzz for the legs. Um... Moth, moth, moth. Moth robes. Just need fuzz. And how about the helmet? Moth wrap. See, that needs two scales. And I think, if I remember right, we only have, like, one scale. Um. So, that will be interesting. But anyway, that full set needs one, two, three, uh, eight... And I lost the leggings. Uh, twelve total moth fuzz. Uh, we'll go. We'll go check that out in a second to see if we have twelve moth fuzz. Uh, to to know if we basically should be harvesting the other materials to be working toward that. Cause I do again. I want to be able to get all of our armor. Um, eventually. Um. But here was the main thing that I, I started learning that I kind of wanted to to share with you guys. So we were trying to figure out coziness. How do things add to the coziness? Um, there's a coziness meter, basically, right here. Um, I don't know now if there's a shortcut in like the little build wheel that we usually use, um, but at the very least, uh, we can use kind of this little craft menu as a reference. Um, so, uh, going to the purely decor section, um, which is primarily where we were looking last time, uh, we can start kind of looking and seeing like, okay, well, like what lighting options would be best? Like all of kind of the generic lights don't do much until you get to like the Firefly Lantern. It, it's, it's a little bit nicer of a, a light and it gives you like a little bit more coziness than kind of the generic sconces and, and kind of uh, 
uh, sprig based lamp. Uh, but then you go to the hearth and it's like way more coziness, obviously, because it requires um, it required you to already get to coziness level one, I believe. Um, and then it's quite a substantial thing. But yeah, then like even like having additional chimney boosts your coziness. Um, the uh, the roof uh, also does that as well. And I was glad to see that there's not much difference. Um, basically, no visible difference uh, between the clover roof and crow roof. Um, I thought that was interesting as well, Wendell. Um, but yeah, we, we get a decent amount of coziness, like a, a lot of it from the fireplace. Um, meanwhile, like we, we look at our, our, like our wasp lamp and the, the two candles that we researched, but I have not built yet. Um, those do not add much to our coziness. Um, but yeah, like we can, we can look at this on all of our different furniture. Uh, I was a little disappointed to see that we made the wrong chair because Berry chair, basically one bar of coziness. The Koi chair, three bars of coziness. So um, we definitely want to go back and make our Koi chair at some point if we're really trying to up our coziness. Um, but yeah, all of these different items, we can come in here uh, and basically this can help us prioritize um, what will make things more cozy. The grandfather clock, that was a great thing to build. That really helped out. Um, Something like the vases, those don't do a whole lot. Um, the sign frame actually does a bit more, um, but like the holiday tree actually might be a decent thing to try to build. Um, it's it's much more even than like the wreath. So that was all interesting to see. And also something I learned, it's not just the decor. Um, and we had kind of figured this out already. It's not just the decor that does coziness, but you also get it from like our, our utility kind of things and just generic building materials. So literally just like your roasting spit or like a cookery, all of that ups your coziness. Um, all of our different, like it's like a smoothie station that actually helps quite a bit. Um, we know that the bed would be good. So that's, that's helping a lot in our current room. Um, but yeah, like if we look through all of these different production things, uh, it, it can help out in varying amounts. Uh, I, it was definitely smart for me to build that storage chest, um, the fancy kind in here. Um, but yeah, even like the pallets, like we want to build these new fancy pallets. Those actually help with coziness around the area. Um, so I thought that was kind of, uh, kind of interesting. So you can just, again, we'll go through here. We'll, we'll maybe make some stuff. A basketball hoop outside could maybe be a good addition. Um, but yeah, we, we can even see like, okay, what of our building materials, uh, can help us out. I think as I was looking through this, um, just to try to see like, okay, do I need to be worrying a ton about whether we're using low tier versus high tier building materials? It does make a difference, but it's very negligible, especially when we're looking at like how much the coziness meter is filled by like a fireplace and a bed and a grandfather clock. Um, I know that these things like you're going to use, um, particularly if we go back to looking at just floors um, and walls, you're going to use a lot of these in a build versus only having like a clock, a bed. Um, but you're going to have a lot of floors. Um, but like, there's no real difference when I switch up to a stem floor. There is a difference. Like, it looks like it basically doubles going to a burr floor. Um, but we're not going to be getting like all of our coziness from that. But it could be worth it if we're really struggling to like push over a threshold. Um, we may need to switch our flooring out to burr floors. Um, same thing with walls. It looks like... Um, there was no real change from grass to all the way up to through stem mushroom got a little bit better and then ash got a little bit better. We're already at ash walls, at least in our house. So that was good. Um, and then roofing, um, it, again, th there's like a very negligible difference once you get up to the crow roofs. Um, but nothing too crazy that I feel like we need to, 
painstakingly harvest crow feathers and replace all of our roofing with crow um, right away. So just some interesting stuff. I know I know I'm yammering on about this for quite a while, um, but uh, as I was trying to figure some of this out, um, that was kind of the stuff I figured out on my own. I was trying to uh, do just like a little bit more research on this online as well. Um, normally, uh, as I have been very clear with you guys, um, I do try to just kind of figure this stuff out on my own, but with some of the coziness stuff, it was, it took me a while to even like find kind of that coziness bar and a lot of it just didn't make tons of sense to me. Um, so I did do a little bit of research on that and, uh, two additional points that I would make are, um, it looks like putting duplicate copies of like the same decoration item um, does not just keep giving you tons and tons of coziness. So like if we just keep dropping tons of fireplace hearths, um, it is not going to just like explode our coziness level. I think that according to what I saw in line, um, your like second copy onward only gives you something like 10% of the base coziness level and it maybe even keeps diminishing after that i actually don't really remember but um just throwing tons and tons of fireplaces would not help throwing like a bunch of extra beds would not help or extra grandfather clocks um doing what we were kind of doing and trying to get like a bunch of different pieces of furniture that seems to be a good way to go um other than that, um, I think the last thing was there do seem to be, I think that there are like four or five levels of coziness. Um, so we do have, um, nice and clean. We, we, we've got our work cut out for us. Um, the, uh, oh, and going along with that, it kind of seemed like the system was mostly meant for like, you know, if your base gets bigger and bigger, like, and you're using lots of these materials, um, you get, uh, a, like, increased, uh, ability to make things cozy. And so it's almost like encouraging you to have, like, one big mega base. And normally that is kind of my style with, with how I had at least played this game, um, in early access. Um, but I wanted to do something different this time. And we have kind of our spread out base that's in the form of like a village rather than one big mega base. And it doesn't seem like that works with the coziness system super well. So we may have a bit of trouble reaching some of those higher tiers of coziness. And we may end up having to wait until we make like a different base elsewhere in the yard. Um, that like is more in the mega base kind of style. Uh, to more easily hit those higher coziness tiers. So um, that was interesting for me to uh, to learn as well. A little bit disappointing too, because again, our, our style here has been, um, or our approach with this kind of base area, it goes against that philosophy. And I, but I like the way that we've been doing it. Um, so I, d I don't want to just like abandon this and change our plans entirely. Um, but we'll see what we can do. Um, all of that now being said, um, as, uh, as I mentioned, I did actually do a little bit, um, of, uh, research. I actually finally, like, watched the, uh, the trailer for the update since we at least have covered a, a decent amount of the content now. Um, I don't feel like the trailer would be super spoilery. Um, and as I was like, again, looking through a couple things with the update, uh, there are like a couple of furniture, like recipes and things, uh, that I believe got added that I don't think that we would naturally find on our own because of how we had progressed on the story. Um, so we're going to go around and, and grab a couple of things, um, to hopefully help us along. Um, so first is we're actually going to be revisiting uh, the Undershed lab uh, because I believe there is 
Uh, there's some stuff there for us that was not there whenever we completed the Undershed Lab. Um, that might help us on some of this decoration uh, type journey. And um, we're gonna go, we're gonna go check it out. All right, good. I remembered correctly. Our uh, our little sneaky back entrance into the Undershed Lab, so we don't have to cross the entire place, is right here. Let's just munch a couple of mushrooms. Wait, is there? Oh, there's like some nice, nice stuff back here. Hold on, we're we're gonna get distracted for a second because you know that's how we play this game. Um, there we go. That's, that's a good little diversion. Gotta get the, uh, Supreme Marble when you can. Uh, but anyway, yes, we have this back door into the Undershed Lab. We're gonna take advantage so we don't have to cross the entire Undershed. Um... And, uh, you know, we actually could use a bunch of the resources in the Undershed, but it's it's just a lot of work. Um, so anyway, this is where, you know, we met good old Wendell for the first time. And I believe there's supposed to be, yes, right here, the glorious recipe. All right, so now we've got the Mant Gong and the Sitting and Standing Mant Brazier. Very cool. Oh, and there's like the refrigerator in here too. I was... I was so worried about... about food. Just a minute ago. I was like starving on my way over here. Um... Well, I wouldn't have needed to worry about it if I had really thought about that. Um, but anyway, while we are actually over here, uh, since this does provide at least some access to the Undershed, um, we may as well come and poke our head out a little bit and see if we can harvest at least some materials. I think I might... Um, just to be careful, set a respawn point. Um, and, you know, they've got like all these like workbenches down here. I really wish that there was a, uh, uh, um, wow, the floor looks really cool right here. Um, I wish there was like a, a place where, like a, like a, a roasting thing. Uh, cause I did, um, I was trying to just cook some aphids with my, um, my good old Coltana, and I, uh, I knocked him off their, uh, their blade of grass, and it was a little too tall, and they just splatted on the ground. Um, I cannot see a thing down here. There we go. And I think roly-poly parts are one of the things I need. Uh, they are weak to, they are weak to salty, so, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh my, that is ridiculously far. Honestly, for these guys, having the barbarian is maybe not the best, because I can't perfect block, and with how these guys attack, um, that's kind of painful. Luckily, we were able to just kind of power through that, but, um, that is something to keep in mind. That even though the, uh, that mutation can be helpful as far as just giving you that extra damage output, and I think it actually heals you a little bit. It, um... Like, there, I can't block that perfectly, no matter how hard I try. Alright. Oh, I, I... Did not mean to trigger this guy yet, but... 
It's fine. At least we, we got him at the end of the other one. Let's fight. Alright, there we go. Got your healing phase. We'll bust you out of there. Ouchie. Alright. We knocked you over, but of course that's when my stamina runs out. What's yelling at us now? Was it just the roly-poly making noises? Is there more roly polies? Oh my gosh! Did they change this? I don't remember there being this many, like, just roly polies down here. Um. I mean, it's kind of okay. I'm, like, even bug parts is something I'm trying to stock up on. Um, so that we can make, like, repair glue. Um, and I think the early poly parts are one of the more affordable ways to do it, if I remember correctly. Um, if, if I'm right, I think it's like two roly poly parts to a repair glue. Whereas like for like many bugs, it's like four to six. There we go. Alright. Well, if I'm right and it only takes two and we just got 31 roly-poly parts, uh, we are going to be in much, much, much better shape as far as making making some uh, repair glue. Because I've been, I've been running low a couple times and it's been a little bit of a challenge to figure out which bug parts to use because I've been... Uh, a little bit low on some of those as well. Um, I don't think I want to go down the Black Widow hole. Um, I'd rather not face one of those right now. If I jump down here, can I just walk my way all the way back and out the normal exit? We're gonna find out. I really hope so. I, th I think I can. That's actually... Oh, hello, big boy. Come on. Oh, gosh. I thought you were going to charge, not launch things at me. Oh, come on. Not a mosquito, too. That was good work. You, you did good, Blackhawks Beetle. You did good, but I, you, you're still my enemy. Um, I was kind of hoping that would happen. <laughs> All right. Um, our inventory's getting full. So what can we do about that? Um, here. Let's let's eat. That, even though it's worse than Pete's mom's Brussels sprouts, we have so many fire ant parts, and they're so easy to come by, and they don't really do us a lot of good, especially because we can't make those into um, uh, armor glue. If we could make that into armor glue, we would be set, but that is not an option. Um... So yeah, we'll do that to clear up some inventory space, and then so I would rather, you know, stick around, get a bit more lint. And if I can find my way back up there, get like some more splinters, because I did see some. Um, but given the fact that there's still raw science over there, that is probably not going to happen, because there's probably not an easy way up. No, no, no. I can handle this, I just, I need to... Okay, 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 okay. This has my poison resist on it. Alright, well let's finish taking care of you first. I think the wolf spider actually got distracted by termites. Which 
helps me out a bit. Yeah, I see you. Taking a look. Bring it. You see what I just did to your friend? Okay, well, you're already better than your friend. Because he didn't actually get a shot on me. Alright. See, we're good. We're totally good. I just had to get my panicking out of the way for for just a second. But see, that's that's where now um, the uh, those loadouts for um, your mutations are so helpful. Might just be smart to head home. It's been a pretty successful outing as is, and I was not even really intending to come into this main part of the Undershed. There we go. I can at least save my torch by pulling the shield out instead. That still keeps the inventory managed, but all good. And then, boom, let's deposit stuff. Oh yeah, it feels good to see a deposit list that long. Um, black ox parts we can go deliver to um, our little cooking area, and I did actually build a chest, um, finally, in our little spinning house. Um, we could, uh, I think I had a bunch of spider, uh, spider webs spinning last just because, uh, we were getting, like, except, did I fill that? Yeah. Uh, we were getting excessive amounts of Spider webs, and we barely have any silk rope, so it was long past time that I got that going. Uh, yeah, we have like over 400 uh, spider webs, web fibers. All right, well these fire ants are just being a pain, and they they caught me before I could head out. And our uh, our helmet's getting a bit weak. Uh, we're just going to repair a bit of armor real quick. And we're gonna get some more glue going. Yeah, so roly poly parts, um, we now have plenty of, and it is indeed only two for some repair glue. So we can get that going. There we go. Now we're all set. All right, let's go track down some pine cones. I'm not even bothering to pick up the parts for that guy because we have too many. Or you. I mean, it hasn't really been a dangerous place to live up here, but boy, there are a lot of ants. So, running by the little field station there, as I'm also being pursued, unsurprisingly, by a fire ant, um, reminds me, we actually do have a couple of random things back at the base that I noticed, uh, they're not researched. Um, bug rubber was one that we knew about, um, that we just created for the first time. Uh, in our last episode, uh, but I think there was one other material that we just, like, never researched but have been holding on to for a while. Um, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, um, but if, if I think about it, we'll try to swing by there before the end of the episode and, uh, do a bit of research on whatever those new items are. I am hoping I can... Pass by here, at least unnoticed by the wasps. They are just a bit annoying to deal with, honestly. Um, like, I, annoying to deal with, like, in a good way, honestly. Like, that's not me, like, complaining about their existence in the game. I actually think they're a good, like, kind of end game, late game threat. Um, because otherwise, like, I do at this point kind of just wander the yard, uh, freely and I feel like I can just kind of bash anything in my sight. Um, but they at least are inconvenient enough to fight. Like it takes a while, especially because of the drone. Um, I think that's the one that kind of like heals and such. 
Um, yeah, that it just it makes it take a little bit, and especially with like the poison damage and stuff, uh, it's it is some work to make sure that you you deal with them uh, properly. So I do kind of go for avoiding rather than taking them on. Um, all right, so as I mentioned, you know, milk molars in the area might be a real thing. Um, okay, apparently those have not down, Pete. respawned. Um, can we figure out at all? Okay, this is like really close in the area. Is it like right on top of this plant? It definitely seems like it. It's getting... We're getting brighter as I go up. Um. Uh, what's who's exploding down here? Uh, unless it's in the. Ah, it's down in here. It is not up. Oh, I was trying to. Just sneak my way into the back there. Um, how much of a pain is this going to be to deal with? I think... Oh, no, no, this fresh that I need to deal with really quick. Uh, go ahead and just get a bandage on, make sure we're getting that little bit of health. Um, that's it. Through the side in that way. Um, oh, just an infected ladybug. We can handle that. Remember when an infected ladybug was like practically a boss for a lab? Now we can just do this. All right. Uh, there it is. Good old milk molar. Oh, we still need to up our consumable stack size. I we've got enough uh, megas for that. Well, next uh, field station we pass. I will go do that for sure. So I know there's a mutation for like chopping. There's a oh, there's a scabby in here. Um. There's a mutation for chopping, there's a mutation for busting. I wonder if there's a mutation at all for like digging that I just haven't done yet. I feel like I've at least like done enough uh, like digging of clay that I should have found it by now. Or like, you know, at least got like a tier one uh, version, but um, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, okay, I thought that there was a milk molar that we had, like, seen or thought was in the ladder. Got him. Alright, um, so, like, it's, it's clearly not in this tray. Let's see if we can work our way over to the other side of the ladder and walk along, walk along this. I think that is gonna be better play. We can also grab some rust here. I think we're pretty good on rust, but I mean, doesn't hurt while we're while we're grabbing other things. All right, we're getting closer now. Is it like up high? Or is it just in the next section? Next section. Okay. Easy enough. Alright, so we did get the milk molar. I... Take you see look. me, like, continuing... Yeah, that gap right there. So, I... That bumblebee is struggling. I think we can get there. So... Again, I mentioned, like, I think there's been, like, a couple things added. Well, as I was, uh, 
such as the like those recipes that we we got um, about the the mant, the good old mant. Um, well, as I was looking that up, I did find some info um, that you know was maybe more on the kind of spoilers that I like don't love to see, but um, you know I, I was looking, so it's my own fault. Um, but, um, anyway, I, I, I'm like, we should be able to get up there. So I think that we have to climb the vines. I just, I want to get a backup dandelion because mine is not looking so great. But <laughs> I, I chopped one dandelion down and the, uh, the tuft is nowhere to be found. So. Who knows what happened. Well, that's the wrong kind of dandelion. 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 They really don't want me to get dandelion tufts. Okay. Taking a look. Yeah, look at that. Like that brick is gone. So we want to get on this vine. I think maybe we do it from this next oh, burn leaf over. Hopefully we can climb this. Oh gosh. Almost just didn't make that jump. Ooh, yep. Oh yeah, this is this is just a ladder. Oh, but I uh, you know, you should probably make your running start properly. Yeah, there we go. Easy. Um. Yeah, this will go like right over here at least. Oh wait, no, no, no it splits off again up. The, yeah, this is gonna go like right there. This has to be. Has to be intentional. Like, there's no. Wait, there's another hole in the wall up on top of the wheelbarrow, maybe. We'll check that out later, but... But I bet you could climb maybe another vine, get on top of the wheelbarrow, and then climb up the hand while climb up that handle. So maybe there's more stuff hidden in the wall. I don't know, we're maybe gonna have to investigate. Okay. So I was thinking it would be easier to go by the leaves because I don't know how to get past that. I jump to that leaf. Oh, I had it. Um. Hey, don't panic. Don't panic. Am I in the right spot? I think so. Okay, 
Okay, we're doing this. Oh, this is terrifying. Don't knock me off. Oh, geez, this is... This is crazy. Look at this. We are, we are up high. Oh, that flower back there made me think that there was like another like raw science or something. By the, uh, by the stump. That moth looks so funny. I think this is, again, another instance of why they would rather, uh, have some of the blur on. But, let's see. Okay, there's gum up here, so this is intentional. Um... scaring me so much. I don't want to get this far and then fall. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, and some mints. Oh, this is nifty. Okay. Um... Ooh, a sticky key. So that is what all of this is for. We're finding lots of stuff in gum today. Also, speaking of things in gum, I am still so intrigued and confused by the toolbox gum. Oh, I missed a piece. Um... You know? Cause like... It was... It was like tier 3 gum or something. Um... Alright, now the question is, is there anything else we can get from up here? Like, do I need to jump down... Ooh, Take I think... Well, there's raw science at least. And then I don't know if, like, anything with the mower right there, maybe, but we should at least go for that raw science. You know, my... At least on my end, my screen's a bit washed out and it's hard to see. I'm holding raw science in my hands. Yeah, okay, that's definitely another missing brick over there. So... We're gonna have to find a way up the wheelbarrow. Very interesting. So yeah, this one I had at least seen a little clue on, but I, I don't know anything if there actually is anything over there, but I am, given that there was over here, I'm very intrigued. And since we have more, uh, more vines over there that did make this section climbable. Uh, ooh, new milk molar. Um, could that also be in the wall? Since we are like right next to it. Let's just keep go well, no. Oh, I bet it's like right there. Maybe. Is it above us somehow? Or is that it by the lawnmower up high? What? I am very confused. I 
I mean, that brick is like suspicious, but I feel like we're too far away to just get the alert. You know? Okay, let's walk. Wait, is it like under this? No, okay. Let's walk back this way and look like down more of those angled doodads. Yeah, it's in the angled doodad. Okay, so we have to drop off like right here and then get into that little section to get that milk molar. But I'm still curious if there's anything like by the end of the ladder that we can do. So let's go check that out first. And then we know about that milk molar at least. Taking a look. All right, well, there's nothing on top of that lid. There is raw science on the lawnmower, but I feel like we'll have another way to get on it. Maybe this is the way to get on it. And again, like all these ways, like we could build our way up, but Obviously, as you've seen, there is a way to kind of parkour your way up. And I like that they've done that with most of the uh, most important spots in the game. Yeah, that's the same kind of little missing brick. And that one looks suspicious to me as well. Though I guess it's the same kind of thing as that brick. Um, although, you know, that's right by... I guess that's how that may just be like a repeated texture. Um, it is right by the uh, that that other missing brick. So that's interesting. Um, huh. All right. Well, let's let's get this milk molar and not miss. Okay, so that is where we are aiming. We're good. Yeah. That's a that's a sneaky one. I mean like so that was good game design the way that they did this with like, you know, you go up there. You see raw science on the ladder, so you come down onto the ladder. And then it's enough to at least trigger the milk molar uh, alert. So I do think that that was that's some smart game design. Um. Just to, you know, kind of push, push some, not even push, just, you know, throw some little, uh, throw some hints at the player to be like, hey, you're up this high on the wall. Maybe instead of jumping to the ground, you should jump to this section of ladder. All right, well, we finally made it home. Uh, made good progress. Also, I'm realizing we should have stopped by a, uh, a little field station to do some things, but, uh, we'll have more that we can actually do at a field station, uh, by waiting. Uh, let me go drop the rest of these supplies off. Um, we can, uh, go ahead and sleep through the night as well. And, um, we will deal with that research station stuff in the morning. The enemy 
enemy's attacking! Hey there, everybody. Um, so this is Future Cauldron here. Um, I um I ended up recording for way too long. Um, and I'm actually having to split what was supposed to be this episode into two parts. So uh, you are you're gonna have to unfortunately wait to see uh, the fruits of all of our labor today uh, until next week. Um, but I did want to go ahead and uh, you know let you know rather than absolutely just cutting you off. Uh, unexpectedly here in uh, what would otherwise kind of feel like the middle of an episode. Um, so although, you know, here's I logged in to let you know that, um, kind of mid-edit, I immediately got sprung with a, uh, a payback. So, um, we'll, uh, we'll finish up this little defense event here. Ah, there are the larvae that I was looking for. Um, but yeah, we'll finish up this little defense event, um, but otherwise we are done for today So you're probably spotting a couple little spoilers as I'm uh, Running around the base uh, for next week's episode um, but um, Basically be prepared next time to finally be using all of the materials that we are gathering some of the new recipes that we found um, in today's episode and uh, finally putting those to good use um, upping our coziness a bit more and um, Yeah, keeping on uh, improving our home base um, So I do believe that should be about it for today um, If you guys did enjoy the episode again, I'm, I'm sorry that it ended up being uh, primarily uh, a um uh, a resource gathering episode when I really did intend for this to be um, Oh, well, that's just an unfortunate payback delivered that I feel like that's again entirely unfair when this larva is Hiding underground and are, are you serious? Uh, hiding Hiding underground and then just despawns up. That's just rude. Uh, like, they, they didn't even break anything, as far as I can tell. Um, but whatever. The game says I failed, but my base is still in great condition, so I'm going to count as that as, as a success. Um, but yeah, um, to actually finish my previous sentence here, um, if you guys did enjoy the episode, despite it being just kind of a resource gathering episode, uh, unlike what we had originally planned, uh, please be sure to leave a like. I do really appreciate it. Helps me out. Helps, uh, more people to discover the channel and the series. Um, and, uh, other than that, make sure that you guys are subscribed so that you will be able to catch, uh, essentially what is part two of this episode. Um, when that drops next week, um, and, uh, yeah, I hope that you guys do have a fantastic day, a fantastic week, until you actually get to finish off the rest of what was a marathon recording session for me, and, um, I will, um, I will catch you in the, uh, the other half of this episode very soon. See ya!